Hello, welcome to Cloud Channel. In this module, we will learn bulk loading of CSV data from Amazon S3 into Snowflake using Copy. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create uh, file formats that describe our data files and how to create staged objects and how to load data located in our S3 bucket into Snowflake tables. And I will give you details how to resolve errors in our data files, but, uh, um, and we will go through all these in this module. And I will do all this exercise using SnowSQL, our command line interface client. I'm logging into Snowflake from command line interface. So to log into Snowflake account, I need to enter SnowSQL and username. Now I need to enter my account name and enter password. So now I logged into Snowflake account from command line. Now I will create a database and I will create a temporary table that holds data. And I will create only temporary table because meaning it persists only for the duration of the user session and it is not visible to other users. So first I will create a database. I will say my database name as database 01 and create or replace. So now I can see that my database successfully created. Now I will create a temporary table that holds data. I will say my temporary table name as a CSV table 01. So in this table, I have all these fields, ID, last name, first name, company, email, work phone, cell phone, state address, city, postal code. So I will go through the data, what I'm going to load in this table in next few minutes. So let me create this table. Now my table successfully created and table name called CSV table 01. Now, now we have a database ready and table ready, and uh, we need to create a warehouse because to run any activities, DML activities, so we must need a warehouse. So I will create one warehouse now. I will say my data warehouse name as DWH01. So create or replace warehouse DWH01 with warehouse size X small and auto main 10, so we can always increase or decrease if we want. We can make it 100 minutes or we can make it five minutes. So I will keep it 10 minutes, auto suspend and auto resume true. And initially suspend true. And we will resume when we start, when we start loading data from Amazon S3 into Snowflake. And let me create this warehouse for now. Now warehouse 01 successfully created. Now I will go through the data files, what we are going to load into this Snowflake CSV table. So this is the sample data file. Snowflake provides sample data files staged in near public S3 bucket. In regular use, we would stage our own data files using the AWS Management Console or AWS CLI or equivalent client applications. So these sample data files include all dummy contact information. So we can see ID, last name, first name, company, email, all that. This is just for this demo exercise. So I'm going to load this data into our Snowflake table that we created CSV table 01. And let's go to next steps. Now I will create a file format object. So enable file format object provides a convenient means to store 
all of the format information required for loading data from files into table. So I will execute create file format throughout this exercise. So in a regular use, this step is optional, but it is recommended when we plan to load large numbers of files of a specific format. So I will create a CSV file format now. We can just say create or replace file format, CSV format and type CSV because we are loading CSV files. If we are losing, if we are, if we are loading JSON files, then we can mention type JSON and the field delimiter is pipe delimiter and skip header is one because uh, we, we check that our data file and our data file has um, the uh, column names in the first row. So we are skipping that first row. And uh, I will go through this type again, type equals CSV, the file format type, the deep default value is CSV. And field delimiter pipe character that separates fields in an input file. The default value is comma. So here I change this to pipe. So now I will create um, this file format that is CSV format. And now our file format successfully created. And next up, I will create a stage object. So here I'm creating a staged object that is called CSV underscore stage and file format is my CSV format. Uh, no, uh, here we can say a CSV format. So I changed that file format to CSV format because we created file format as CSV format. So our file format is equal to CSV format. So I will execute this uh, create stage to create a named external stage. An external stage references data files stored in a S3 bucket. In this case, we are creating a stage that references the sample data files necessary to complete this exercise. And this step is recommended when we plan to load data files regularly from the same source. So I will create this external stage and enter. Okay, I need to now our stage area csv underscore stage successfully created in our regular use if we were creating a stage that pointed to our private data files i would reference a storage integration created using create storage integration by an account administrator or a role with global create integration privilege and I can just mention that my private URL, if I'm doing from some private URL. So I will just show you the syntax, but I uh, we are not using. So we are not using any private bucket. If you are using a private bucket, so just change in the URL S3 and put that private bucket. So we're not uh, doing this. So, so far what we did in this, in this exercise, so we created a database called database 01, and we created a temporary table that holds data from S3. Uh, we call the table as CSV table 01, and we created warehouse 01 with the small size and auto suspend, and we created file format that is CSV file, for, CSV file format and field delimiter pipe, and we created external state. And the next step is copy data into the target table. And our target table is our target table is um, CSV table 01. As we discussed earlier, loading data into tables requires a warehouse. So uh, we created warehouse in this exercise using this um, command line. So now I need to alter warehouse to resume the warehouse let me alter my warehouse 
so alter warehouse dwh01 resume because it, when we created warehouse you can see on my cursor initially suspended true that's why we need to resume this warehouse to load data into tables i will execute this now the statement executed successfully and our warehouse is resumed now i will load data from a single file into the target table using copy copy into the csv table 01 from the csv stage and this is where the file is located in a public bucket and let me execute this okay my stage uh, doesn't exist oh, okay so we keep our stage name as csv stage so let me change the name to csv stage copy into csv table from csv stage and enter this so now we can see that our data is successfully loaded and the data in context.csv is loaded successfully now here we can see that our file and uh, error column is not status loaded and file name and rows pass file rows loaded and error limit so i will show you like you know how to check these errors but uh, we don't go to that command line uh, that web interface but i can just give you like you know how we can track these errors so now i will load pattern matching to load data from files that match the regular expression so let me just say copy into csv table 01 from CSV stage, tutorials, data loading, and pattern, contacts, 125.csv. And uh, let me execute this. And we can see data in contact, contact 1.csv is ignored because we already loaded the data successfully. Now data in the following files is loaded successfully, contacts 2, contacts 4, and contacts 5 and contact three we have skipped due to like you know two data errors so i will show you like you know how we can uh, track those errors if you want we can track the errors and fix the errors and load it again so i will just show you the troubleshooting steps how we can find the errors so just run create or replace save copy errors as select and validate my uh, the table is csv table let me just uh, make it clear and our table name is csv table 01 i will just remove this command and csv table and the job id is we need to enter the query id so if we go back to web interface and if we can enter the query id then we can look at all the errors and once we need to enter query id because i'm not entering because we need to get this from web interface and we can go to our history and and look for the copy statement and get that query id and enter here once you enter this query id it will return everything it will give all the data into this table and we can just run select star from select star from that uh, save copy errors okay so if, if you don't know how to go to this history and get the query uh, details please go through my previous session so uh, there is one module available that um, snowflake web interface overview so in that module i discussed in the history how to track user queries how to track all the queries run in that session so what are the queries we ran in particular date uh, warehouse so i discussed all in that module please go through that module to get this query id and um, uh, troubleshoot the errors so now we loaded already uh, CSV file one and two 
fourth file. So now let's check in our table if the data is available or not. And our table is CSV table 01. So I will run select star from CSV table 01. So now I can see all the data is available here. So entire data is available and I can just run the constar. Constar from CSV table 01 and enter. So we have total 21 records included in CSV file 01, 2, four, five, three ignored, but uh, we discussed how to troubleshoot that uh, three five. So far in this module, we covered how to bulk load from Amazon S3 using copy. And we I created a database name and we created a temporary table, CSV table that holds data. And we created file format that describe our data file and created staged objects and we loaded data from our S3 bucket into Snowflake tables. And we discussed how to resolve errors in our data files. And we successfully loaded all the data into the CSV table and we can see the data is available. If you have any questions on this bulk loading from Amazon S3 using copy, please post them in the comments. If you like this video, or please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.